So, today you guys, I am going to be talking about Evernote. Okay? Evernote, you guys. Evernote is hands down my absolute favorite note-taking app ever. But I only use it for homeschool though. <laughs> So if you don't know what Evernote is, it's basically a note-taking app, but it's amazing. It's like the best note-taking app in life. And I use it for homeschool, it's amazing, and it helps me keep our records, and I'm able to be super creative with it. So today I thought I would show you a little bit of how I'm using Evernote. <laughs> I have some notes to help keep me on track because you guys know I can ramble and I don't really want to ramble too much in this video I just want to tell you I just want to tell you how I'm using Evernote so I really love Evernote and I'm probably gonna say Evernote about 18,000 times in this video so sorry Evernote 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 <laughs> but um I really love it and I love how creative you can be with it you can take your regular notes you can um make notebooks you can search you can search your notes on Evernote like that's amazing um, you can add photographs you can add videos you can add voice memos that's wonderful you can add check boxes that's probably my absolute favorite thing ever because I'm a list taker and I write extra things that I have already done on the list just so that I can check them off. So the check boxes on Evernote are life, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to kind of show you how I have been using Evernote lately. I use Evernote, see, that's I have to be up to like eight times saying Evernote, but oh well, sorry. Um, I use it basically two ways in homeschool. Um, the newest way that I have been using Evernote is kind of like an electronic workbox system. So I have a previous video about how I fill up our physical workboxes, um, what we use to store our workboxes, what we put in them, that type of deal. Um, I have been using that workbox system less and less just because um, it just hasn't been fitting us not as well it fits us well but we've been more on the go lately and so we've been using our workbox system slightly differently the physical one um, now so we use it a lot more for storage by subject when we're not doing a unit study when we're doing a unit study then we I stuff the work boxes with work and they you know they're able to complete their work and put their finished work inside of their work box it's amazing but we've been on the go a lot more lately so I thought why not use Evernote to be kind of like an electronic work box and how I do that is I basically split our subjects up I created a little file that just lays out our subjects in the order in which we normally get them accomplished. So I have like Bible, um, reading, writing, spelling, math, um, science, history, that type of deal. Um, and then I take that, I use little check boxes on them, and I take that and I copy it into each day that I'm going to have the kids go in and complete their electronic work box. When I do that, I'm able to then give them instructions. I can write out the instructions, I can add a voice memo to say hello, and that type of thing. And the reason why this is really, really awesome for me right now is because I've been a little bit flustered with the whole schooling more than one child type of thing. Because when you're trying to give instructions, to one child about what they're going to be doing today then the other two are like mom can I have juice you know mom I need to go to the potty that whole deal and it becomes really really frustrating and you want that other child to be able to receive instruction well and sometimes on some days it just 
it just gets crazy. So the way Evernote has been working for us is I'm able to log in the night before the things that I want the kids to accomplish, especially my oldest who is eight. Um, so I'll have Cameron go into his Evernote notebook and he will start at the beginning. Sometimes I leave a voice memo to say hi, to tell him something special about himself. Um, to give him specific instructions and then each time he finishes that step he can check that box off and move on to the next step which is so cool you guys like it is so cool then I can also include any links to any videos that I want them to watch because what I had found is when I would do my planning I would have certain videos that I wanted them to watch or um, activities or apps that I wanted them to complete and just the hustle and bustle of the day just it got lost in translation a lot of times so with Evernote it's really cool because they're able to individually go into their notebook and check out uh, a link that will go straight to what I want them to watch then after they're finished they come back and check it off it's amazing like it's wonderful like for real it's amazing <laughs> So on top of that, I can also include a photo if they needed a photo for further instruction. It's just great. It's just really, really, really wonderful. <laughs> so that's how I have been using it, um, adding it to the way that we have been using it as kind of like electronic work boxes. And that way, when things are done that way, when we are up and on the go, it's really simple. Even if we don't have our device, like our iPad or my phone, which when do I go anywhere without my phone? If I have, I can get access to a computer or at the library, they can sign on, sign on to their Evernote account, get into their notebook and get straight to their work. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. I can't tell you how amazing it really is. That's why I'm trying to show you. So anyway, so that's how we have been using it more recently. But before we started implementing the new electronic work box type of deal, I mainly use it for keeping my homeschool records and it's great. I can do everything that I said um, previously. I can also add different files. So how we normally do is we take that same daily schedule listing of different subjects. I copy and paste it into the day. Um, or the week if I'm really behind then I don't get to do an individual day to day but the goal is to be able to record each day of work and a lot of times the subjects might be blank so maybe we didn't do too much science that day or maybe we didn't cover any history lessons that that day but basically whatever we did cover I make sure to include and it's awesome because I can just go back in any photographs that I took of them completing any piece of work I can add to that day um, and then I just add a little note that says Cameron did a great job he spelled 12 extra words it showed me that he was understanding this letter blend well um, he asked for the definition of this word I can put in a reminder for a week from now to ask him about what we talked about today to see if he retained the information it's just amazing and I love it I love that it is two ways that you can access it it's really so flexible when I really want to get in deep and get a lot of the organization part of the notebooks and things like that or do my planning the night before or even the weeks before um, it's great to be able to be on a laptop or desktop to do the work do you know what I mean because sometimes trying to do a lot of work and moving things around on your phone is just irritating you know so it's not ideal so I love that I can go straight to the laptop or the desktop and be able to complete that type of work then on the other hand being able to access it from my phone genius because when we're out and about and I need to quickly be able to toss in um, photographs videos notes voice memos attachments whatever I can do that very 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 quickly from my phone and it syncs straight to our Evernote account for me to be able to work on later on on the desktop or laptop if I need to for example if we are if we're working on fractions 
and say one of the boys is really mastering the halves. I don't know. And I want to take a picture of him doing, you know, splitting half of the pie, the pizza pie or something. I took that picture. I quickly added it to my Evernote account and said, how cool. He totally got this concept. Um, I think we can move on to thirds or something. <laughs> then I can also say he really struggled with this, this, and that. Um, I can leave myself a memo of some sort, voice, if I don't have enough time to really like um, type it out. I don't know. Just the possibilities are endless. I am also infamous for writing notes like handwritten notes all over the place it's just the way that i operate even though i use a lot of electronic devices it's just not the same as putting your pen or your pencil to the paper and getting that thought out of your head <laughs> so i still do that but what's really cool about evernote is that i can actually take a photograph of whatever i wrote down and add it to whatever notebook and whatever note that i need to and get this, you guys, you can search your own handwriting. It's amazing. So then I also <laughs> do that for our art projects. If they're doing an art project, I normally take that, um, say it's like our paper eggs that we just did. And I normally cut that out and include that in their notebook for portfolio, physical portfolio purposes, but I will also just take a quick picture of it and add it right to my Evernote account and put it in whatever, tag it with a couple of things, um, mixed media, decoupage, whatever I want to, so that when I want to go and search or look for a certain project that we did, it's very easy for me to do so. I think I talked very fast in this video and I thought I was going to have a ton more to say but that's basically how we do things and I absolutely love it. So I have a physical way that I keep um, some of our things but I try not to have like a whole pile of stuff that the kids did because it's just a waste of space for me and like I said I want us to be up and on the go and out adventuring and traveling I don't want to keep a lot of things at home so ideally Evernote is perfect for me because I still get to keep um, everything you know like say if they fill out a math worksheet and you wrote on and I wrote a sweet little note on it and I want to remember that I don't necessarily want to keep that math worksheet but I do want the memory so that's a great way for me to be able to keep the memory is to take a picture of the worksheet and then add it to my Evernote account. It's amazing. <laughs> but of course, other things like um, uh, more in-depth art projects that I might want to actually physically keep. But that other stuff, like those math worksheets and things like that, I want to keep the memory, but I don't want to have those cluttering up my house. So Evernote is perfect. Per -per 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 perfect for that. <laughs> Um, I tried my best to lay out how we are using it. I absolutely love it and I'm so grateful for people like the developers of apps and applications and programs like Evernote because they're genius and I love them, okay? Do you guys use Evernote? And if so, how are you using it? And if you don't use Evernote, what other things are you using? Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure that you're subscribed if you want to join our little family and follow along in our homeschool journey. And give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like these. Make sure to leave me a comment below or contact me, email me, just, connect with me. I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!